so happy to be here. Where are my relationships at? Relationships. Okay. Mm. I asked because I finally have a reason to be truly happy for you. I myself am in a relationship. I did it. <laughs> Laying out. That's why I always ask where the relationships are because that's my gang gang right now. You know what I mean? You gotta watch it. I'm in a new relationship, got new triggers, but nothing triggered me like being single. <laughs> being single was my ultimate trigger. You just be out with your man doing regular shit. You just so happen to pass me in home goods. Now I'm triggered by the fact that you as a couple are buying bathroom shit, you know? <laughs> And I'm fully triggered by your whole relationship. Like, oh, that's cute, that's cute. Y'all buying bathroom stuff, that's cute. He lets you decorate your cage. <laughs> better now, better now. In a relationship, long distance. I don't like them to get too close too fast. In a relationship. Nothing like being in a new relationship to fully release some new triggers in you, right? Because they're new, you don't know them, they don't know you. All my triggers are directly related to my poor ass childhood. And he keeps triggering me. <laughs> he just triggered me yesterday. Did some shit, he thought he was, it was cute, but it was a trigger. He trigger trade me. I got in the shower, his big ass climbed in the shower with me. I don't know what the fuck he was thinking. <laughs> that is not romantic to me. I was raised in a one bedroom apartment, okay? Four bitches, one panty drawer. <laughs> in Florida, we paid for water. <laughs> Showers were not sexy. He climbed in the shower with me. I think he thought I was gonna get wet. I did, but not where he thought. I just started fucking crying. As I had questions, I was like, are we okay this month? We got money for the bills. Why are you in here? Why are you here? I'm here to tell you as a female, get the fuck out of our shower. We don't want you there. The shower is the alone time for women. It's our time to reset. It's our alone time. I don't like you being in there. Throws me off. I'm in there doing shit that's none of your business. Shit, I don't never want you to see. I'm in there. Hey, look, I don't want you to know. First thing I'm doing in there that I don't want you to know is how long I can't stand on one leg. That's none of your fucking business, okay? It's none of your business. I'm full ass crack on the wall we never clean. That's none of your business. Another thing I'm doing in the shower I don't want you to know. The hair that drips from my head and into my ass crack that I've been spider manning onto the wall. I'm blaming on you and your daughters. I want you to still clean that. It's none of your business. Men have no place in our showers. They can't even handle our heat. Thank you. The one is true. Also, there was a snap. You know it. They climb in there and they're like, oh, my dick and balls, I regret this very much. I didn't know you boiled water to take a shower. I'm cooking a snack. Hot stuff. He triggers me from my poor childhood by accident. He did some innocent shit yesterday. He was like, I got this juice, it's one of my favorite juices. <laughs> he brought me Tampico. Oh. Everybody's triggered. Everybody's 
triggered. <laughs> Tampico! If you don't know what it is, go home and open mouth kiss your parents. You had a great childhood. <laughs> great childhood. Tampico! It's family dollar, sunny delight. Single mom life hack. I buy them disgusting juice. They just drink out of the tap water now. It's fine. I buy no juice now. Tampico, it's a juice that makes you thirstier the more you drink it. <laughs> Has a really specific flavor. Looks like Sunny Delight. Tastes like your dad's not coming home and your mom's gay now. <laughs> Real specific flavor to my childhood. <laughs> my mom was gay, she didn't sit us down and have a chat about it. She just, we just figured it out. <laughs> We just got it, you know? Every time she got a new friend, that was my new titi. <laughs> and those bitches were gonna go jump on the bed for three days. <laughs> yeah. I had white girlfriends growing up that would be like, you should just, you should ask your mom if she's gay. <laughs> just ask your mom. I was like, you want me to ask my tired Puerto Rican single mama about her sexual identity? <laughs> now nah, I'm good, dog. <laughs> she has a habit of throat punching children that be all up in her business. <laughs> Why you in my business? <laughs> my mom whooped us. Anybody get whoopings growing up? Yeah. All right, all right. Somebody just went like this. <laughs> I ain't new to this, I'm true to this. <laughs> Now let bitches beat me on the regular. <laughs> I feel you. My mom whooped us. I grew up to be an adult that doesn't whoop kids. I don't whoop. I don't whoop. I don't whoop. I don't whoop kids because I don't have kids. <laughs> you can't hurt kids you don't have. You know what I mean? If I don't become a mom, I'll never become my mom. You see what I mean? <laughs> I break my generational curses and learn toxic habits by never putting them to the test to begin with. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, mental health is so important. <laughs> so important. Your mental health means the world to me. Get your shit checked out. I didn't mean it in an attacking way. You have very open eyes. I believe you're on medication. <laughs> me too. Me too. Me too. I take medication. I take my uh, sister's Adderall for my social anxiety. Take my sister's Adderall for my social anxiety. I was jazzed when I found out I had social anxiety. I was super jazzed. I thought I was just an asshole. <laughs> I kept blacking out at public events. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a condition. <laughs> Not that that's stopping me tonight, baby. <laughs> Open bar. Open bar, hit the circle. You guys are too supportive. Entirely too supportive. Uh, <laughs> finding out what flavor mental illness you have is super comforting. Because people can't judge that, right? It's the difference between telling your coworkers that you have food poisoning versus the truth, which is that you are hungover as fuck because you got obligerant at an Applebee's. <laughs> that you're no longer allowed at, ma'am. <laughs> obligerant, obligerant. If you don't recognize the word, it's because I just made it up. <laughs> made up word. It's a made up word. I made it up of two of the worst words you could ever be when you're blackout drunk, which is obliterated and belligerent. Obligerant. <laughs> obligerant. I'll tell you what, anytime I was ever obligerant, I was also arrested. <laughs> And not allowed back at that Applebee's. <laughs> My little social anxiety blackouts. My social anxiety blackouts. Uh, <laughs> the social anxiety blackouts were my obstacle. I turned into a whole ass opportunity. 
Yes, thank you. I wasn't, I'll take it. I feel like people are like, are we supposed to be clapping? I'm just like, yeah. They are. I'm like, magic! A social anxiety blackouts were my obstacle. I turned to an opportunity to be prolific as fuck. Give out some life-saving advice to a friend of mine, okay? My friend was so good. He, was, he, he saw me, right? He saw me on one of my, like, blackout, wake up, what borough when I, am I in, trying to get home kind of days, you know? You never want anyone to recognize you on this day. Yeah. Right? You're in the same fucking clothes. I assure you, you're in the same fucking panties. <laughs> Walking home, you hope no one recognizes you as you adorably try to throw up in between two parked cars. <laughs> oh, you saw me. Oh, hey. He was like, hey, thank you for the advice you gave me last night. I wanted to quit comedy and I wanted to fucking kill myself. But the advice you gave me stopped me from doing that. Yeah. Yeah, maybe you guys want to take me a little more seriously. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what you do when you're blackout drunk, you're probably out there fucking raw. I am saving my friend's life, just snatching them off of ledges, like, oh no, you are so worth it. You are so loved. Also, no. Still couldn't remember what I said, right? It's always, it's always bad when you see somebody that you saw the night before, right? It's so bad. It's like, thank you for the advice you gave me last night. I was like, I saw you last night. <laughs> Where were we? <laughs> Have you seen one of my Nike Harachis? <laughs> I'm like a ghetto Cinderella in these streets. I'm missing <laughs> one Harachi. Have you seen it? Did you see it? <laughs> what I said. It was like, it was beautiful. I had a bad set, and I was feeling down, and you looked right at me. Well, you were pretty cross-eyed at this point of the night. You looked towards me. You looked towards me and you said, hey, God's not finna put a dream in your heart. you <laughs> some of you people are made of stone <laughs> when he said it to me I just started fucking crying I was like oh, I said that <laughs> can you say it to me sometimes <laughs> I've been in these panties 32 hours what barrel is that Also, I was very excited. I was like, I'm super happy I was able to help you, brother. Because if I'm blackout drunk, I'm usually just pissing on the train platform. Or, oh, piss the ankles over here. He was like, oh no, you were still doing that. But you did say. <laughs> you guys are amazing. My name is Christina. Thank you so much.